Hey Superstar, how you doing? This is Angus at Boss Fitness. Super excited that you're here. Thanks for taking the time to check out this video. Um, this is going to be a content vlog video today. I want to share with you the number one reason why so many diets fail. All right. So obviously in this day and age, um, we're becoming more and more aware of our health and people all across the board are obviously looking to lose weight, to tone up, to be able to lose fat in those stubborn areas. Um, so they can really just love themselves and look sexy as fuck. So the thing here though is that nine times out of 10, the strategies that people are actually using, the stuff that they're actually doing to try and lose this weight, to try and lose this fat is actually flawed. It's the one out of 10 who actually nail it, who understand how fat loss works and how they can actually achieve their dream bodies all those people who actually align themselves with coaches that are able to actually cut through the BS and to get the results that they want, while the other nine out of 10 are sort of stuck cruising around like headless chooks, jumping from diet to diet to diet in favor of trying to obviously achieve their dream body. So what that should tell us is that there's obviously something wrong with diets and why they are not the way to go in terms of building a sustainable change to allow you to go from where you are, point A, towards where you want. To be. So time to get stuck into some examples here. I want to give you some real clarity so that you can see exactly why I hate diets so much and the way to move forward so that you can actually create real lasting success. Let's get stuck into it. Okay, so to set the scene, I want to, um, I guess, lay on you sort of what is usually uh, one of the big holes with people's focus first and foremost, okay, regardless of if they're dieting or not, all right? It's that usually people are so focused on the quality of their food, okay, and this is their priority and their value spectrum. So in other words, they're focusing so much on trying to make sure that the quality of their food is absolutely on point. So they're buying organic, they're buying grass-fed, they're buying this, they're buying free range, they're buying, you know, superfood stuff, whatever, and this is great. But the thing here though is that they're not aware of what actually matters most, which is the quantity of food relevant to your goal okay so obviously with this scenario being fat loss all right what you need to understand is that um, the the way of thinking which most people get stuck in is that you need to eat less and move more to lose weight yes that is true to an extent but the thing here though is that if that is just the extent of your focus you're, you're you then sort of got this big missing piece which is thermodynamics this house we obey the laws of thermodynamics in other words if you go too low too quickly you're basically gonna shoot your metabolism, you're basically gonna um, you know, sort of do some real damage to your hormones and you're gonna set yourself up for a real restrictive rest of your journey because you're gonna be living on next to nothing, okay? On the other spectrum of side of things, this is where you can actually be focusing on fat loss, which is actually having a perspective of eating as much as possible to trigger the results that you want, okay? So how does this, how does this sort of correlate with diets, okay? So obviously with diets, most of the time, um, you're kind of, your focus is put between two. So in other words, usually what happens from what I see is that for you ladies, um, you have a diet that's built around 1200 calories. 1200 is the magic number. Yeah, and um, usually within that, the, the breakdown of what you're eating is super duper clean food, okay? Um, and this is great, but the thing here though is that that is not sustainable to be able to live like for the long term, okay? In other words, you'll stick to it for a few weeks and then once you finish, you'll be like, yeah, I lost some weight or fuck, I didn't lose anything and therefore in both scenarios, you will jump towards the next thing or go back towards what you're doing before because that was where you're comfortable. Because obviously for human beings, you want to get from A to B in sort of basically the quickest and the, and the most easiest and less amount of effort required to get from one place to another. So this is where these diets are obviously highlighting is just that, yeah, you can lose weight really quickly and you know, all you do is just eat this and this and well, oh yeah, cool, it's easy. But then can you keep that up in the long run? No, yeah, because simply there's so much awesome food that's out there and it's all accessible, it's all easy, it's all instant. And plus, you know, as sort of like a whole at the moment, I don't know about you, but a lot of us are a lot more social than what we, you know, sort of are in the good old days. Um, you know, we're drinking more, we're out for all awesome meals and especially in Australia as well, multicultural, so much epic stuff to choose from. So if you've boxed yourself in this little, you know, sort of world of just rules where you can only eat this and you can't eat everything else, I guarantee you what will happen, and you've probably experienced this before through the diets that you've done, is that you crave what you tell yourself you can't have. So as soon as you enter into a shitty sort of emotional headspace or whatever, you know, it's like, oh, and you're looking for that release and for that sense of just happiness and whatever, well then you turn to food, you turn to the stuff that you've been cutting out. Obviously you're not gonna binge on carrot sticks and celery sticks, are you? No, you're kidding yourself, right? You will turn towards that chocolate, that Nutella, those Tim Tams, whatever it is that you've been cutting out, okay? So why all these diets fail is because you're going too low too quickly and you're boxing yourself in a world of restriction, okay? 
yes, they're great for quick fix, really quick results and stuff like that. But if you're expecting that you're gonna be building a lifestyle from that and be able to continue the results afterwards, you're kidding yourself, okay? As I've said before, you need to begin with the end in mind. So before approaching one of these diets, you should, you should just go to yourself, hmm, like, can I actually see, actually see myself living like this for months and years to come? Will this cater for my travel plans? Will this cater for my social life? Will this cater for this? And nine times out of 10, the answer is gonna be no. Because the focus is so rooted upon, you know, these rules. So eat this and don't eat that and stick to this really low calorie amount, okay? So uh, what I wanna share with you now is a more flexible way to go about it, which is something that I actually live and breathe and preach. Um, I wanna bring this message more and more to the mainstream, which is flexible fat loss, also known as flexible dieting, um, or focusing instead on this quantity aspect, okay? So in other words, you likely, if you're watching, have been so accustomed and, and, and stuck into that sort of bro way of doing things, okay? Usually eating clean, yes, that's cool, 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 but that can only get you so far. If you're really looking to build a sustainable lifestyle for yourself and get rid of dieting and all that sort of stuff and just, you know, sort of just kick it in the in the backside, what you need to be moving your focus towards is a couple of things, okay? You need to be willing to see food, all of it as equal, okay? All of it as fuel for happiness, lifestyle and performance, basically. And then number two, you need to be willing to eat more. Okay, and this can be pretty hard to, you know, for most people to accept, is that we usually associate that we need to be hungry all the time to be able to get kick-ass results and that we need to go balls to the wall in our training and it needs to be sacrificed and all that sort of stuff. No, okay? To be able to successfully lose body fat, you need to eat more to lose more. In other words, you're eating to tell your body, hey, like, you're gonna be okay. You don't need to hold on to body fat because keep in mind that body fat is free for the body to hold on to, okay? But you're eating enough to supply it with enough micronutrients, with enough overall energy, with enough overall macros to tell it that it doesn't need to let go of muscle, okay? Because what you gotta remember is that the more muscle you have, it's obviously very metabolically active, so you'll burn more energy at rest the more that you have, but it's also taxing for the body to keep. So if you're depriving your body of food and you know not eating much and mucking around with this 1200 calorie diet business and stuff like that, you can see there that most of the weight that you'll lose also is gonna come from muscle. Why? Because in that sort of scenario, your body's gonna let go of what is costing it most, okay? Bum ba da ba, is it gonna let go of fat? Well, only a very little bit because why would it? It's free for it to hold on to, just in case, okay? Because we're built for survival. So in other words, wrapping this up, guys, Diets suck. You can clearly see there that, you know, yes, it can get you from A to B, but the thing is though, is that how long? How long can you actually stay there? In other words, you know, what's your willpower like? How disciplined are you to be able to continue those restrictive ways of eating? If I was you, I would actually see the food in a different light, build this sort of lifestyle and way of doing things that way. You're in a position to be able to have freedom of choice choice on a day-to-day -day basis where you're choosing what you want to eat, when you want to eat, to be able to meet your overall targets and personal requirements. And obviously relevant to your values will dictate how much of that food is allocated towards your clean foods and how much is allocated towards, you know, just yummy stuff like chocolate and whatever else, okay? Because you've got, if you actually have a balance between both worlds, this will enable you to sustainably build what I believe to be a real awesome relationship with food because you're then in control of everything, okay? You've got an awesome relationship with the nutrient dense stuff, with the hashtag junk stuff and therefore you no longer will have that impulsiveness or kind of just like you know those binge eating patterns and stuff like that anymore and therefore in the future it then means that it's going to cater for your travel plans anything else as long as you still value your health okay so hopefully that's given you some really nice insight please 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 after watching this make sure that if you are still confused about certain diets or whatever make sure you drop a comment below okay and i would love to give you some uh, extra support and knowledge and insight if i can okay um, but also, please, if you're new to the channel as well, please make sure that you hit subscribe, okay? That way you stay connected to all the videos that I'll be pumping out on a week-to-week -week basis. And um, if, you're a returning, if you're a returning viewer, what's going on? Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you comment below as well, or at least like and share. That way it can help support me and everything that I do to be able to show love to you guys and basically bring this message to the mainstream, okay? But um, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time in the Boss Fitness world, okay? Take care, superstar.